Something we haven't seen in a while that we really need to see again is... All right, guys, I'm at the Goodwill and I bought a pallet of housewares right here for $10. $10 for this giant pallet of goods. Like it even has a $20 price tag. They only charged me 10, but I bought two of them. And now we're gonna see if we can actually fit it in the truck. I mean, I can't lift it. So I'm gonna have to actually take everything out and put it into the truck that way. So let's kind of see. We'll get a, well. So you got another gun, but you don't want the boss back. The what? You don't want the boss back. They don't want it back. They don't? No. Okay. No. Ooh, that was heavy. You were right. We're stronger than I thought. So, oh, what did I break? Well, I'll probably just take the stuff in there, put it into that one, because I can't fit it. Can I give you some money? Yeah. There you go, man. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate the help. All right, so I finally made it home. It was a really far drive with this junk from the Goodwill. Or, I mean, items from the Goodwill. And we're going to pull it all out and take a look at what we got. I mean, I already see this keyboard down here. I have one of these right here. So when I use every day, and uh, I already know that comp sat at around $30, so money's made back just with that. So, looks like the first thing we have here is uh, this RCA laptop thingy. It looks kind of bad. Um, it, oh, it comes apart. Oh, it's like a tablet with a keyboard. So that's probably not worth much because it's just like a little Android thing. Uh, maybe a couple bucks. Probably trash, so it probably doesn't work. We've got a neck massager that may or may not work. Um, have to be sanitized, I think. We're gonna sell this. I've got my uh, son filming for me, so he's my cameraman today. Hi. What do you think? You like neck massager? Yeah, I like the back massager. Well, hey, and it's got this, you know, so maybe, maybe if you clean it up and it works, you know, sell that for a couple bucks. Yeah. Um, all right, now I'm gonna go up high and let's see what we got in the big boxes and stuff this is a lot of stuff so first thing we have is this lamp now if you look it looks kind of yeah completely broken so <laughs> yeah so could be a lot of trash i think maybe i should make i think maybe i should make a trash pile kind of put all this stuff over here that we just know is garbage right mm -hmm. off the bat some broken glass. Up next we have this right here. This is a uh, VCR. That's really heavy. We'll test that. These can sell. Yeah. These actually can sell. I've sold them before. Um, I haven't sold this specific one, but there's a lot of VCRs you can sell for 20 to 30 bucks. So Now this I thought was kind of cool. It's a printer. I'm not sure. We can look at the condition. Let me see what it's worth. Let's look it up on eBay really quick yeah so it looks like this is worth around 100 bucks pre-owned if it works 20 bucks for parts and then brand new is 200 so we'll test it and hopefully it works all right so i found this vcr here's a sold comp for 50 dollars, and that looks like the exact same one as this one i got so if that thing actually works then i'm gonna be able to get 50 for that 100 for that printer i still think this is five ten bucks on facebook marketplace so you know we're already talking about decent profit a really ugly old light I don't know, maybe that's worth money if people want that vintage look of the, uh, feels like middle school from the 90s. Then I've got this uh, tablet that looks like someone bought in China or Japan or something. Um, this probably has no value, maybe at a yard sale, right? A buck or two, but that's about it. We've got an HP keyboard. It looks like it's in really nice condition. It's interesting, it's got eject buttons, so it's for a very specific computer. Um, still probably could sell it. 
All right, I looked this keyboard up. It looks like sold comps anywhere from 10 to $20 if it works. So it's another 10 to 20 bucks. Let's see. Okay, so what we have here is an absolutely disgusting, disgusting. toaster oven. Look at the top, look at the top of it. Ew. So that's trash. That's gonna go over in the trash pile in a second. Uh, let's see if we can find some more trash. Slow cooker West Bend. I mean, it's missing pieces. And it would need to be cleaned for hours by the yeah. way. <laughs> Alright, then we've got this. You know, this might like be part that, of that yeah. light or something. No, it looks maybe, depending on where you put it. I don't know. Maybe that's part of that. I don't know. Um, here what we have is the top of a scanner. I think the other half of the scanner is in the truck. So, oh boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, it really wants to find its brother. Ah. We got a George Foreman Lean Mean cooking machine. That's broken. And then this. These are all from the pallets as well. So that's the other part of that. I mean, it looks like it's in terrible condition. So I can look it up and if it's worth something, I can try to refurbish it, but I'm guessing it's trash. I'll put it over here in the most likely garbage category. <laughs> and this goes into the garbage category. All right, up next we have, oh, look at this. A Panasonic Blu-ray disc player. Is this open? Oh, it's a deck for an iPod. Or dock for an iPod. <laughs> That's, That's actually cool. pretty cool. Look at these, bent, these dents though. All right, so I found this um, this Blu-ray player. It looks like it's part of like a stereo system set with a bunch of speakers and all that. And I don't think I have all that. Um, it looks like with all the speakers, it's selling for 90. In this condition, without the speakers, I mean, I'd be shocked if I get 15 bucks for yeah. it. It just does not seem, I you know, all I'll test trash. it, but it's probably trash. Ow, that hurt my knee. Is it, that's a normal power cord. So I can test it. All right, so we've got, as expected, ugly lamp, number one. We should do a uh, ugly lamp count because there's gonna be quite a few ugly one. lamps. Ding. One. Um, let's see. Here's ugly lamp number two. There you go. <laughs> That's even uglier. Yeah, it's not pretty. This is uh, ugly lamp number two. And I mean, Here's the thing. You shouldn't do Here's it. Here's the thing with ugly away. lamps. Like, you can maybe sell them. So the thing with lamps is you can maybe sell them, but this one's broken. So this one's going in the trash. And this one isn't really broken. I'll test it. Someone might pay a dollar for it, but it's probably not worth my time. You probably should do should a giveaway of every ugly lamp that you find. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, we got a vacuum. This does not look like a very high quality vacuum. Yeah. It's a Bissell Power Force. Power Force. Bissell Power Force. We can test it. I mean, if it's a working vacuum, someone will pay something for it. What do you think? 15 bucks? Maybe? Yeah, if it know. works? All right, so I found that vacuum brand new is $50. Um, pretty good, but it's not I'm not going to sell this on the internet because I don't want to ship it. So. If the vacuum works, I'll clean it up and I'll sell it on Facebook for 20 bucks. Maybe someone will pay 15, but that's pretty good. Okay, up next we have this. And this one's interesting. It's a uh, universal laminator. So I guess you just put something in it and try to load it somewhere. Yeah, see it's a little, a little broken. I don't know if I can fix it. Oh yeah, it kind of closes. It's a laminator. Uh, this one's very similar. It sold for 20 with with some laminating bags. So, I mean, I don't think... I mean, this might be worth putting up... No, listen to that. It sounds broken. Yeah. I think we need to That's accept that trash. it's tr probably trash. Yeah, we're going to put it in the probably trash. Let's take a little peek in here so you guys can see what's coming. There's quite a bit more. So, here you go. All right, we've got curling a iron. Revlon ceramic curling iron thingy. That one might be good. Take that. Then we got a Sony speaker, but it's all stained. 
it's all stained, so you know, probably trash. Here's a um, Sony battery charger. Maybe not. So no, it's not part of that. That that looks like it's just some normal double A's, honestly. But that might, you know, you'd be surprised. A lot of times, these sort of things can be worth a couple bucks. Like I said, I can get a couple bucks for that. Watch out for that broken glass. Okay. All right, we got a foot bath, which you know I'm gonna need after this, so that's <laughs> good. I mean, I don't know, foot baths. That's maybe worth two, three bucks. I'm gonna have to like turn it out. Okay, we got a wall sconce. This is a light that goes up on a wall. It doesn't look like it's in terrible condition. Yeah, well, it's got the all the leads. It's got the ground. It's got you know broken out bulbs, so I'll need to take those yeah. out, but. If I clean that up, I can definitely sell it to someone. Okay, so this is one of those, looks like under an under cabinet light for a kitchen. I'm calling that trash. Um, this is a piece of a coffee machine, right? Here is a blank CD, so that's exciting. Could be anything. <laughs> Probably nothing. Well, it's sealed, so. All right, Conair curling iron. A lot of those. Um, these are worth around 15 brand new. This one's in mediocre condition. I could pry list this if it works for nine bucks, eight ninety nine plus shipping on eBay, and someone would pay it. Actually, just leave that here for now. So that stuff is probably okay. This speaker I'm kind of torn on. It's so stained. It really probably just needs to go in the trash, right? Yeah. Ugh. Looks like someone ate McDonald's off it. Yeah, that's gross. Got a piece of plastic. We've got a flat. All right, so we got another light here. Okay, hold on. This is potential. So this is again something you'd hang. But you know what? You know what these are missing? These are missing the glass that goes around the bulb. Yeah. Same with that other one. It's missing the glass that goes around probably the bulb. Probably because it's dangerous to bring mm. in a car. They probably just broke it. So that one down there and this one might actually be worth nothing. Here, put that with that other one. I've never tried to sell one of those without the globes, but I could try and see. Most likely though, it's just garbage. All right, let's see what else we got. We got the bottom of a lava lamp. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. We've got the bottom of three lava lamps. <laughs> wow. But they're not the good lava lamps. There are good lava lamps, but they're the old ones. Yeah. These are all new lava lamps, and they're missing the lava and the lamp. <laughs> well, they've got the lamp, but missing the lava. So these are all what I would call trash, most likely. Okay, so this oh. looks interesting. We've got some sort of controller. What do we got here? GameStop. Maybe Xbox 360, right? Yeah, not a lot of I mean, it's GameStop branded, not official. So it's going to be worth five bucks max. <laughs> yeah. Now what brand? This is Electrolux. That's a good brand. I noticed this brand name when I was uh, packing some of this stuff up. And I've heard these can be worth money. I don't really know too much about it. So I'm going to have to research it. There's a vacuum back here too. And, uh... I didn't get to look at it because the fella that helped me load, loaded the vacuum. So I wasn't sure if it was Electrolux branded. Let me see if I can get back here and take a look. Here it is. No, that's Hoover. So, and there's another vacuum, but that's not Electrolux. So I've heard, I've seen uh, Commonwealth Picker part out the Electrolux and sell these hoses and stuff. So they might actually be good money. This is cool. Wait, what is this? Lamp counter? Three? Number three on the lamp counter? Yeah. But this one's actually a vintage and cool lamp. Not like a yeah. vintage and ugly lamp. Like, ugh. I mean, it's ugly in a sense, but I think it would be kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Is there like a brand on it? Keystone lamp. I'll look that up. All right, I don't see any sold listings for this lamp here. Um, I do see some listed for 25 bucks, but I'm not hopeful it will sell. I'm not gonna throw it away though, cause I like it. So I'm not gonna toss it cause I think it's cool. All right, ugly lamp counter, number three. Okay. <laughs> We've got a little bag, that's trash. Um, let's see what else. So this I saw when I was loading. It's just like a piece of a blender. It's probably not worth anything cause it's missing 
the all blender. The components of the blender. What is this? Church. Huh. Vox Accessories Corporation. What is that? Microphone since it has a Vox. No, look, there's a um, little sensor there and then like antennas. Antennae. Okay, so I think we found it here. This might be it, it might not be, but it's some sort of indoor antenna um, for TV. And I don't know if it's, this is the right one. That's like the highly amplified one. It's worth 60 bucks. I saw some that were shaped differently for 20 bucks, but that was the only one shaped like this. So I'm not gonna throw it away. It's some sort of TV antenna. And I guess I should have I should have known that when I saw the coax at the end. But yeah, that's a TV antenna. And it might be the super long 60 mile range one, which would be cool. Something we haven't seen in a while that we really need to see again is an ugly lamp. It's exactly the same as that one. Yeah, they're a matching set, except one's blue and one's tan. All right, so there's that. We've got this here. Is this an answering machine? Wireless intercom, tap and lock, a vintage intercom. I'll test it out, see if it's broken or not. Here we've got a telephone, hello. Old telephone. Yeah. Well, it is a telephone because that's what they are called. Now listen, I've sold these old telephones before. They're not gonna change your life financially, but you can get 10, 15 bucks for them. So that's worth a little bit. It's not worth throwing out. Look at this, Premier. Looks like a mic. No, well, it's got like a heat element in there. Might be like a... Oh, you stepped on. So this is some sort of dryer thing. I don't know. Ow, sharp. Here's something else we haven't seen in a while. A curling a iron. A curling iron. Then put it over there. There's that up, you know. Five bucks here, five bucks there. You know what we haven't seen in a while? An ugly lamp. We have seen one of those, but we haven't seen a curling iron in a while. Oh. This one is a Remington. All right, let's see. Another curling iron. Curling we haven't iron. seen those in a while as well. This one's an Infinity Pro. That one seems nicer. This one might be worth something. Something very ugly. I mean, beautiful. I don't know. I guess <laughs> opinions can vary. This is a chandelier. Oh. You know, the kind that uh, okay. Sia swings from. <laughs> All right. So, beautiful, beautiful chandelier. Yeah. I mean, it's all bent. I mean, but what if it's a million dollar chandelier? I don't want to throw it away. Probably trash. No, it's definitely just ruined. All right, what else we got? We've got this little recharger. I'm gonna throw that in the garbage. A curling iron, which is really sticky. Oh, okay. Put that in the sticky pile. <laughs> okay, now we have a sticky pile. <laughs> trash, trash and sticky pile are the same. What is this? Headphones or something? Ah, it's empty. It's a Miki. What is this? Ugh. Oh boy, okay. Auto drive. I don't know what that is, but that could be good. This, I don't know if I should throw it away. Probably trash. I like this, uh, this, oh, definitely trash. It is trash. Yeah. All right, let's take this vacuum out because it's really occupying a lot of space. Here, grab this. Vacuum number two. Yeah, what's the uh, brand on that one? Twin uh, Chamber wind Hoover. I mean, it's a little beat up. It's got some like, you know, scratches on it, but Hoover used to be a good name. Let me look it up. Real. You know what we haven't seen in a while? A foot bath. So that's good. What's nice about this is we can both bubble our feet simultaneously. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got in here. All right. I want the bubble bliss one. This actually looks like a rotisserie machine. Like you put your chicken in there. Oh. And yeah, the chicken it looks spins like around. Shiny. So, I mean, this is pretty broken. Let's, we'll probably put that in the, probably put that in the maybe broken pile. 
All right, so here we've got the bottom to another blender. Again, that's gonna be trash. Um, this looks like part of the George Foreman or some, maybe that toaster oven over there. Here's something we haven't seen in a little while. Another It's curling a curling iron. iron. Oh, okay, something weird. What is this? Remington All That. Spices? Uh, you know what these are? Curling irons. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah? Oh I think so. Lord. I think that's for curling your hair. We'll have to ask mom, but that's what it looks like. Here, pop it over with the curling iron collection. This is now turned into curling iron. Ugly lamp, number four. Ugliest out of them all, probably. useful. Pull a heater. Find the keep pile. It's not in the best condition, but oh dang, look at this. Like, Old school. I used to have one of these growing up while well, my mom had it. That is cool. That's an old school can opener. Oh. I wonder if that's worth money. And the color is killer. It's like super vintage 80s. So you lift it up, you put your can in, push it down and like lock it. I don't actually, I guess you just push it down, it would open it and then that pops it off. I'm gonna look that up because I think that could be worth money if it works. All right, so sold comps look to be like 14, 15 bucks on these. Uh, not great, but it is cool because it strikes on the nostalgia in my in my brain. So let's see what else we got here. Hold that. Yeah, I mean maybe you'd be better off cameramaning from up here. All right, what is this? The iced teapot from Mr. Coffee. Huh. I feel like that's probably missing pieces. And uh, that looks like more toaster oven parts. And ew, gross. Look inside there. Oh. That's nasty. Let's show them. This looks like an. Oh. <laughs> that's nasty. Optimus. I think it's an air purifier or a fan. Um, I don't think there's a good way to clean that, so it's probably going in the trash. All right, there's an RCA antenna. Those are okay, 10 bucks, five, 10 bucks. I see another ugly lamp I by see the looks of it. glass. Ah, okay, so this is like an old candle holder. That might have value. Great, oh look. I'm in the pallet. Now they're, they're the next pallet. Buy pallet, buy a million pallets, you might get the NC picker. Yeah, you buy the NC picker next time you buy a pallet. So this is a Black & Decker quick and easy. What is this? What do you think that is? It looks like it attaches to something. So the problem with all these it? kitchen appliances is they're all missing like crucial components. So they're all trash. It could be a... Whatever that is, it's missing the main piece. And it's disgusting. Put it down there. I'll hand you some more. So we got a snake light. Those are kind of useful if it works. Not really worth much. Super spotlight. That's cool. Looks like a crock pot. That... I don't know. I think that's a fryer. Yeah, I think that's that like flash sense. frying. Oh, uh, a lamp. Haven't seen a lamp in a while. Put that over there. Ooh. Yeah, that wind is cold. I mean, this is a disgusting coffee maker. Throw that in the trash. That's satisfying. Alright, here's another coffee machine. This one looks better. Better, but no coffee pot. I don't know that I want to throw it away though. It might be okay. Put that in the not throw away or below your feet. Um, all right, we got a router, a Belkin router. Here, hold that. So that could be good. A couple bucks. Good news, we've got a coffee pot. Very disgusting. Oh, here's something. A cord. Which is probably Xbox 360 AV cord. Could be so these cord. are okay, five bucks, ten bucks, max. Not fully trash, just mostly trash. Um, holder nail station. Oh, wait, is that a dry thing? Yeah, I think you that's dry your nails in it. All right, so we've got what looks like a baby Bajorn <laughs> or something. Yeah, Ergo. Actually, Ergo Baby is a good brand. Ergo Baby. A really good brand. So I will wash that and sell it on Facebook. Someone will buy that. So that's cool. Looks like a Spectrum cable. Oh no. Oh, 
we're not close to done yet. There's still a whole truckload yeah. that we have to look at. I uh, remember I got two pallets. This is kind of a mixture of both of them, um, but there's still a lot left in the vehicle that we need to look at. So we have... I just left the lamp. Garbage. <laughs> this is fun breaking lamps. Winston-Salem dad. All right, so this is interesting to me. This is a sharper image digital drive tire rack it looks like they tried to sell it for three bucks and no one bought it <laughs> brought it down to two bucks and nobody bought it and now it's just you know, mine so that might be worth something people hang all their ties on them here put that over there we've got the box too so maybe i can get 10 bucks out of that we got a little uh, dirt devil it's got a little i mean that looks in terrible shape so that's probably trash the trash. Okay, this is a CD player or what's left of it. What brand was it? Lenovo. That's garbage. Here's the top of that fryer. Put that with that fryer there. Okay, what's in here? InnoTab. Oh, uh, Anna has those. Doesn't she? Like, yeah, it's really Oh, yeah. Nice. That's a little tablet. That might be worth something. InnoTab 3S. You bought it for well, we'll check it out. Could be good. Don't, don't throw this one. We've got some alarm clocks. We've gotten to the alarm clock section of the uh, pallet. Here's a night light. We have moved past the remotes and gone into the alarm clocks. That seems like an, it could probably work. So save all that. I think this probably has to do with curling your hair. This is a Presto. This feels like cast iron. It's like a little fryer or something. So we'll save that. That's decent. Again, there's no. Well, oh, here's a lid. It's cracked. Oh, is it cracked? Does this fit on that Presto? Uh, oh, it. it's on the sticky section. It's sticky. Oh, yeah, that fits. Okay, so that Presto is cool. We gotta find the other piece of the power cord. Might be in here. Um, got a candle warmer. Tunes for toddlers. Got a uh, disc drive. Really not worth anything. We've got a multi disc changer. Oh man. For Panasonic, but it looks kind of broken. Ugh. Okay, so we also, I didn't talk about it, we have this like crock pot that is actually it's got two sides that's kind of cool but it looks all cracked in there so and it's like so beat up out here that i think we're just going to call it garbage um got a mr coffee that looks completely broken and what is this little i mean these are all uh, correct me if i'm wrong people watching but i think this is all trash little dock broken headset skull candy you got this little light, this little lamp. lamp. Yeah. This might be part of the vacuum, so we can save that. All right, so this Electrolux uh, hose that I've got here looks like it goes for 30 bucks or so. And looked up this spotlight. Looks like it goes for about 20, so. I still got all those curling irons I gotta figure out what to do with. I think most of them are trash. Here, hold that. This is all Christmas light stuff. Mess. Need a haircut? <laughs> yeah. Comb and cut. I see a hot glue gun in here. What else? An alarm clock. I mean, it's all trash. That's all garbage. Let me see if I can't get it free. All right. We got a Hoover. Third Hoover of the day. Well, Except it's a very weird Hoover. This one's a steam cleaner. I'm not sure if that's worth anything. Hoover steam vac that looks old. Um, also looks like it's missing pieces, so oh, it might, looks like not, a might not be worth anything. Ugh. Especially now that I dropped it. Yeah. All right, so this uh, over here, we've got oh man, toasters and coffee makers. Shocking. We have a Mr. Coffee again. 
we have a broken printer again it's basically the uh, palette of broken printers broken coffee makers and, and broken, broken toaster Euro Pro X I mean that one might work that one might work maybe I could sell it for five bucks ten bucks all right so we got a piece of a light here that's gonna be trash we got some of this off the truck I mean one thing that I've for sure created here is a lot of work for myself later. Yeah. Um, Cause there's a lot of, a lot of broken junk here. I mean, so far we've got a decent pile of interesting stuff that could be worth money, but we also have a ton of junk. So I'm definitely gonna have to go to the dump tomorrow. So we've got this brawn coffee maker. So many coffee makers. It's missing the glass. I mean, is Brown a good name? We can maybe save that one. We've got this Devil Bliss. Devil Bliss? Devil Bliss? I don't know what that is. Like I said, this keyboard is nice. I have one of these. They're worth like 30 bucks. Here, put that in the good pile. That's a $30, $35 oh, keyboard. Nice yeah. No complaints there. Broken massager. We got a scale, probably worth nothing, but we can check it. Two controllers. I don't know if those are worth anything. I thought a cable company just like gives them out like candy. All right, we've got, what is this? A waffle maker. That's kind of cool. It looks like the, uh, the waffles from Waffle House. It's kind of broken though. I don't know if that's fixable. That one might be okay. I might save that one. Because it feels really rugged, like, it's very weighty, so it feels like it might be good quality. You got this Black & Decker light. Um, looks like it's battery powered, and I don't have the battery. I'll look it up, but it's not promising. We have a broken popcorn maker, a heating pad. I saw all this at the Goodwill, because I put them in these bags. The Jungle Bag book. Ooh, Black Diamond, it's worth a million dollars. And this coffee maker, another coffee maker. So, also got that thing. What is that thing? Like a sweet tea maker or something? AK DOS? Yes. Probably also worth nothing. I'm calling all this trash. APC. So, this is a battery backup. I mean, these are pricey, but it feels broken. This is a menorah, maybe? No, it's only five. I don't know. We got a printer that looks really beat up. We've got another printer, I think. Epson is a printer company, aren't they? Now, this is an interesting one. It's like workforce. I'll try this. This one looks okay. And uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, the broken printer, leaf blower that's in shambles. And then this. Now listen, I know you're thinking, wow, there's a lot of garbage, but it was 10 bucks per pallet. <laughs> so my total invested is $20. It's definitely not bad, you know. It's just I'm work. not losing money. But yeah, it is a lot of work. I agree with that. Well, well we've been out here for like an hour and 30 minutes, probably an hour. Come on for this. So in here we got this thing, I don't know what it is. This is a quesadilla maker. Interesting color palette. Is it? Yeah, so it's broken. You can see that it's broken there. Trash. I don't know if I'd it's say. fixable. No, it's broken, broken. It looks like a nice quality thing. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Since this is all trash, we're gonna start leaving the trash in the truck so I can take it straight to the dump. Instead of putting it on the floor. Yeah. This is some sort of a, uh, oh, this is a knee brace. This could be good if I wash it, um, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, at least for myself. We've got a big display calculator. It's kind of cool, you know, for the elderly. Yeah, that's nice. A couple bucks. We've got another scale. Seems to work, so that's cool. Again, little stuff like that, that's like your nickel and dime, sell it on Facebook for five, 10 bucks. Same as, well, does this even have a brand? I don't even have a brand. Toss that one. Another snake light. 
So the way I look at the snake lights is they're not probably worth much, but they are useful. This is one of those things you put under your laptop to cool it. This is a protractor kit, and this is a warming, warring ice cream parlor. Warring ice cream parlor, but it's missing all the key pieces. So. And then we've got this, which is like a luggage tote thing. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so a lot of the stuff in this truck right here is stuff I bought at a yard sale this morning. This was in the pallet. There's a little leap pad hooked on phonics. Might be worth something. All right, so as far as uh, this was from the pallet, so we'll take that out. And this, you know, it's a three disc changer, um, but it doesn't seem to have any of the other components. So I'm gonna pull all the stuff that was from the pallet out and put it on the driveway here and then we'll look through it. All right, so this is what was in the truck. And honestly, most of it looks like garbage. I noticed this when I was loading, this little speaker. This seems like it could be good. I'll test it and see how it works. Supposedly a Bluetooth speaker. The iHome iPod dock could be decent. This crock pot looks vintage. I don't have the lid for it, but I'll definitely look it up before throwing it out. This light seems fine, this Hampton Bay light. Clean it up. Um, this looks like a part of the Hoover vacuum, maybe. And then you got more coffee machines, more lights, more toasters. Where does that leave us? That leaves us with uh, mostly junk, a lot of junk. I have to load all of this into the back of the truck to take it to the dump tomorrow. Um, and I'd say that's all pretty much broken appliances. That baby Bajorn, I'll clean up, maybe it can sell. And uh, I have to look at that. I mean, that vacuum is in bad shape, that Bissell. So, <laughs> all in all, really, the only stuff that I'm fairly confident in is the stuff sitting on this little table. I got two pallets, and that's the stuff I think I might be able to sell right there. Um, their stuff is probably going to end up in the trash too after I test it, but yeah, so this is my haul from two pallets full of stuff. This probably doesn't even, I think this is missing pieces. Yeah, it's missing the basket. So this probably belongs in the trash pile as well. So, did I get my $20 back? Yes, 100%. This is 15 bucks right here. This is 10. You know, the printer is 100. This is probably 20, 25. The other light is 20 bucks. You know, there, what else? I saw something else that was a guarantee. Like this will sell. The Electrolux stuff will sell. I can piece out the rest. Guarantee like this will sell. The Electrolux stuff will sell. I can piece out the rest. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. If you liked this and you want to see me do more pallets, go ahead and comment below and let me know. Make sure you've subscribed. And if you want to see what everything sells for, check out my NC Flipper channel. That's where I actually uh, post my eBay sales and how much things sold for, things like that. So if you do want to find out what I get for some of this stuff, check that channel out. Make sure you subscribe to that, subscribe to this, and check out my other videos. Peace out.